This is not only a fast car, but it has proven to be a very durable car. And the nice thing about racing is that the end, at the end of the day, on the day of the race, uh, everyone knows who won. We'd been off-road racing with Cowells and PPI and been sports car racing with Dan Gurney and remarkable achievements by themselves. But to take that next step, a tremendous growth curve required. The model that we take into each sport is we have to earn our way. We have to learn by participating. We have to get our hands dirty. What we don't do is buy our way in. When we decided, and this was a global decision, to go champ car racing, Roger Penske, only the biggest Toyota dealer in the world, you know, he owns, you know, open wheel racing, obviously, for, for decades. And he literally went to our top management when he heard that we were going into champ car racing in our top management at the time, said, Mr. Penske, thank you very much for your generous offer, but we'd rather try and do this ourselves. And from that point, I qualified hands down the toughest three to five years of our entire existence. We wouldn't be here today if we hadn't gone through that era. We had to build ourselves, we had to transform ourselves into a real, credible, globally competitive motorsports engineering company. We had been changing over from Champ Car to IRL, Indy Racing League. Pruitt was, a, it was an IndyCar driver for us, and so in what I think was his last start in an IndyCar, he went out and qualified the fastest speed at a, on a two-mile oval in history. It was just such a huge opportunity we had good teams, we had good drivers, and they won championships, and they won the 24-hour. Ganassi won it three years in a row. Scott won it two of the three years in a row. Scott was a machine. McLaren looks at the front stretch. He can see the checker flag now. And Jill DeFerrin becomes the 62nd driver to win in the Indianapolis 500. One of our crowning achievements, winning the Indy 500 in 2003. It was a great day. I mean, I, I don't know how, how else to explain it. We had the Delara, we had the G-Force, we had them both covered with Helio in the Delara and, and Jill in the, in the G-Force. You didn't know which one was gonna win at the end, and you just didn't care. One of them is gonna win. Having climbed that mountain and achieved the, the best there is in a sport, it just wasn't moving the needle within our own company and within our extended company relative to our, our, our dealerships and, and our plant personnel. Instead, they were watching NASCAR, you know, kind of having, you know, some of the vision back in those days to suggest, you know, maybe we should go look at this and explore the NASCAR world and kind of build that foundation. We had no idea it would be what it has become.